bend it like that and we gotta bring it this point all the way to here so all the regulation is here regenerate wall it's more rebar everybody's gonna be working <laughs> nobody's standing around <laughs> See these five fingers, right? You see this together has a strong punch. What this mean? I'll explain to you. If you have good excavation, good concrete, framers, electrical, plumbers, you're good to go. Explain it to YouTube. Why would you have it another board? Uh, because it's gonna be a slab. Yep. So we're gonna pour four or five inches over it. Yep. According to the plan. So we're pouring just only a footing and it's gonna be rock, vapor barrier, mesh or rebar on top, and we're gonna pour it. We passed inspection for footing, right? This is our footing deforms and it's lower, sorry, it's lower like four inches, right? Right, that's yeah. for slab. For slab. So in the future, we'll put the gravel and this bar, rebar, it's gonna be banded. banded like that and we'll connect it, all rebars. In Litako, usually we're not doing this. Side. The reason why we're doing here, it's a couple of reasons. First, it's not allowed the, um, the heights. Hazard regulation. Depends the area, regulations, like Tahoe Keys. Oh my God. I think it's 26.4, the highest pitch in the roof. You can have it. No more higher uh, house you can build it. So all houses stay in pretty much the same level. That way you can kind of see it, observe it, the Tahoe, beauty of Tahoe and mountains and everything. The garage, we did it both sides because garage is going to be flat work. So this is our roofer. So what this means is ground, 20 feet long, rebar, number four. George, how you been? How many yards you ready for it today? A lot. How many trucks? Well, yeah, what's in that? Eight. Eight, Eight trucks. And still going, and still going. Roma, you tired? Nah. I'll go home with my wife. <laughs> you always talk about wife. You see how he like the wife? All the stuck, hey dude! This is my porch right there. We're coming here. This is the sewer goes to the second floor. Plus we have clean up inside in the garage. Okay, this is my stair area where the stair is going. This is the toilet. Okay, in the first floor. This is goes to the second floor. And this is the uh, air vent for toilet. And right here going I, another one for upstairs. This is the bathtub going here. This is my garage, two-car garage. So what are you doing right now? You took it out the kickers, right? The uprights, I'm just saving material. I got and you. Saving a hassle, taking out the boards. Because later on it's gonna be pain in the ass to take it out, right? Yeah. 
it is really hard to take out a board out when there's upwards. I gotcha. Man, you guys do an amazing job. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Serge, what's the game plan? Zero one, my base ready. Concrete zero, <laughs> Concrete zero. <laughs> Bill Tech one. No, you keep one. One, now we're going to put it here, and then to start it. Uh huh, so. From here, we start to start and finish. So you're starting from the back, da? Right? From the back to the floor. Okay. We do the task, they take the wood, and you guys will be together. You are just in good boots, so I'll find out all the work I need to do. Roman, translation. Everybody's going to be working, nobody's standing around. You're going to be fine. <laughs> Actually, Poki, Poki Tuna, Poki Tuna. It's called uh, Caprice. I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta, honestly, ooh, look at this. Hey, look at this, what I find it. Anyway, uh, what I gotta do, I'll tell you this. I'm not the chef power, right? But I have some cool, cool dishes, cool recipe. Everybody who comes to my home, when I'm inviting for birthday or party or whatever, I try to surprise people, right? So I have my own signature, okay? So I, I, I think I should do. I should do uh, some uh, caprice tuna for you guys, and we gotta film it with full recipe, full secret. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be all yours. Best stuff. What I eat, what I feed my family, what I feed all my friends. Okay, bye. <laughs> Guys, you not believe it. Sometimes I give the order mm -hmm. and I give the address and I give the wrong address. So Lone Indian, yesterday we poured the concrete here. Okay. And you can see we use the technique, the step technique. We, di we did it step over there. And in the back of the wall, we did it another step, another step, and another step. And you can see here we raise it because we have porch right there. And after that one, we have step. So the uh, back of the corner, left corner, back of the house, this is my elevation. This is highest point exactly. And we got to bring it, this point, all the way to here. So here it's going to be pony walls. Mm -hmm. We have the video in the class. We'll, we got to do pony walls. It's a little bit cheaper. The labor, yes, it's take a little bit time more. For my crew, I can say four hours, we can make it those pony walls but it saves a lot of a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of money we are saving pretty much at the concrete mm. 
We've got our materials delivered. Today we're building some pony walls and the subfloor. we have eight inches six inches from ground I can build the pony walls I don't need to raise it yeah. and another thing I'll tell you this watch one two three approximately three feet right mm -hmm. so what I'm trying to explain it to you if you'll continue one more board it's four feet four feet it's considering it's a retainer wall retainer wall it's more rebar so the highest you go more rebar you put, more concrete you put, more money you put. Okay, makes sense. This is just a temporary, quickly, you know, without forms, without nothing, we just spray it out a little bit. Right now you can see the job site is clean, ready for taking out the forms and has a space to work with forms, right? You see, ventilize requirements. October 15, this is the last day, and May 1st you can start. The all application is here, so all regulation is here. So that's why we are hassling right now, guys, because I don't want to, my construction can be shut down. Okay, this is my first priority to go. That's why we are jumping, that's why we are trying to fit in all our houses to the, this season. Next season we already have, it, I think, six in the contract, five or six houses in the contract. But this is just the beginning, maybe it's going to be around 12, 13 houses. Thank you. 